In Act 1, Scene 2 of Dr. Faustus, two nosy scholars come looking for Faustus at his home. His trusty servant, Wagner, engages them in a bit of clever verbal sparring, dragging out their interaction before telling them his master's at dinner with his friends Valdes and Cornelius. The scholars see this as a bad thing, since they know the doctor's buddies are infamous practitioners of that damned art of evil magic, and they fear Faustus may be practicing it as well. The two scholars reveal a personal sense of intellectual superiority when they address Wagner, who doesn't just bend to their will. When they demand Wagner tell them where Faustus is, he challenges their right to insist that he knows. The ensuing exchange provides a closer look at Wagner's character. He has the intellect and education to engage the scholars in a dispute using logic, and just because he's a servant, he's not going to be treated like an inferior. Here, he impudently plays the scholars for fools, using wordplay to muddy the waters of truth of where Faustus is. His impatience with these two representatives of traditional institutional learning mirrors his master's impatience in this area. Wagner is clever enough to confuse the scholars. He is not only having some fun, but protecting Faustus, knowing scholars will not approve of his master's guests. Clearly, Wagner is a rather clever, very loyal, smart-alecky, protective servant to Faustus. In some respects, he acts as a double for Faustus, albeit in the form of a servant. His outlook and actions will often reflect those of his master, as they do in this scene, and occasionally, he'll step into the role of the chorus.